My hair was breaking easy and it was falling out. New at 10, a problem few women talk about, hair loss. Now a treatment that doesn't require surgery or drugs. Plus, the hair is fuller, shinier, stronger. Plus, forget creams or pills. We'll show you a new laser treatment that shows promise in stopping hair loss. Well, it's a factor many women don't even think about. You could lose 50% of your hair without knowing. All new at 10, a new laser treatment that promises to restore hair without surgery or drugs. And Eye on Health tonight, stopping hair loss. What if you could stop thinning hair and maybe even grow it back without surgery or drugs? Medical editor Marianne Childers looks at a new treatment tonight that shows promise producing healthier hair. Judy noticed her hair was thinning a few years ago. She tried shampoos and conditioners to thicken it up, but nothing really worked. My hair was breaking easy and it was falling out. So she volunteered to test something new. For the past four months, she sat once or twice a week for 30 minutes under what looks like a hair dryer. But instead of hot air, this helmet exposes her scalp to low-level laser light. There's no heat, no pain, no downtime. About a third of our patients are saying that they're having less loss of hair, they're having increased density of hair, and increased hair growth. Dr. Diane believes it stimulates the metabolism of hair follicle cells and increases blood flow in the scalp. It appears to have no side effects. It seems to work better for females or women with thinning hair than males who already have hair loss. Hair is something a lot of people take for granted until it's gone. You could lose 50% of your hair without knowing that that hair is gone. And all of a sudden, when you hit that 50% break point, wow, then it starts to look thin. In men, the cause is genetic. In women, it's not so well understood. But childbirth and hormones can play a part. There are FDA-approved treatments that can slow or potentially stop hair loss. But low-level laser light, while not a miracle cure, may be another option. Lasers are really there to maintain the hair that you have, to improve the quality of your existing hair. But Judy is sold and plans to continue treatments when the study's over. The hair's fuller, shinier, stronger. Um, less hair fall out, like 90% on me. Now, because it's still being tested, doctors can't say yet how many treatments are needed, for how long, or what happens if you stop them. The cost will likely range from $100 to $350 a session. This laser treatment is not yet FDA approved, though. So far, there is one low-level light laser, a comb device, that received FDA approval last year. Diana Robb?